Hi, you can't actually use Illustrator brushes in After Effects, but you can cheat a bit by using shape layers as a track mat. And that's what we'll be looking at today. We won't be doing much, if any, animation. For that, have a look at uh, animating arrows in After Effects, the earlier tutorial in this series. You can use any brush in Illustrator, though some, of course, are better than others. That includes the borders, decorative, artistic. So let's get moving on. There is one major difference to the way we've been working, and that's that we're going to be working with one shape layer which has both the shaft and the head. So after you've created your shaft, open up your shape layer, contents, and with shape one selected, add trim paths. We're now going to add another shape to the layer. Click on the heading, click on your pen tool, and create your head. Make sure it's sitting away from the actual arrow. The reasons will become obvious later. You'll need, now see that there is a shape 2. Open shape 2, path 1, path. In shape one, path one, and control command, click that path. So both paths are selected. Control C to copy both paths. Open up Illustrator, File, New, title it. I'll just call this tutorial. And the profile, in our case, video and film, size, decide what you want. In our case, we'll be doing HDV, HDTV 720. OK. And that will open up with an alpha channel in the background. Now, press Control V. And this is a bit hard to see, but your paths will come in. Open your brushes. Click on the sidebar. Go down, open brush library, and you'll see all these drop downs. In our case, we'll go to artistic, paintbrush, and you will see the paintbrushes appear. We're going to select dry brush. Make that off. Up above, you will see it's where it says stroke. You can make the stroke thicker. And you can also change the color. And we'll change that to yellow. Once everything is to your liking, go file, save. Select where you want to save it. In this case, we will call it Tutorial. Press Save. Press OK. Go back into After Effects. Double click. Go to where you've saved the file. Select the Illustrator file. Open. And it will appear. Then, Toggle closed your shape layer. Go back to your Illustrator file and drag it underneath. You'll see that it's probably not in the right position, so you'll have to reposition it. You can just drag. The important thing is that it's underneath the shaft. If it's not correctly covered, select your shape layer and increase the size of the stroke until it is totally covered. Go to your shape layer, select shape 2, which is your arrowhead, and delete. Then select your Illustrator file, and where it says track mat, select luma mat. 
If you can't see the track mat, the toggle switches modes button underneath will bring it up. Now when you animate your trim paths in your shape layer, it will draw on and off. Go to your project panel and drag another copy of the Illustrator file to on top of everything. Solo it and with your pen tool create a mask around the arrowhead. You can now use this as a graphic. Have a look at the earlier tutorial on using graphics as arrowheads to give the idea of how to go about it. We'll unsolo this for the moment. If you want to change the look of the arrow, go back into Illustrator, select the path, do any changes you want to do, click off that, select the other path, do any changes you might want to do, then File, Save, go back into After Effects, left click on the Illustrator file, and select Reload Footage. I hope you find this useful. I'll look forward to seeing you in our next, hopefully shorter, tutorial.